I want to tell you about a horrible case of tyranny that happened to one of our own. A Brooklyn man has been convicted of 13 firearms charges after being arrested for building his own firearms. This violation of the Second Amendment took place in the state of New York. Of course it did, right? Now, I will mention that this, uh, this is something the Supreme Court just took up, the Vanderstock case, it's the ATF ghost gun rule, and what they say will influence this case, but what's happening to him will be in the immediate while we wait for the Supreme Court to hear the case and then rule on it. Uh, so stay with me on this. Just know that the Supreme Court did take up the ATF's rule, but this is New York's law that's also saying ghost guns are illegal. This case is disturbing all by itself, but what really has me pissed off is what the judge had the gall to say. You need to hear this. First off, help me get to a huge goal for my birthday. My birthday is July 25th, and I would love to hit 700,000 subscribers for my birthday. You can do that by hitting that red button down below. It's free. Subscribing doesn't cost you a nickel. Just tells the algorithm that there's worthy information here so that more people will be fed the information in their algorithm. So thank you for that. Also, before we, uh, we discuss this judge's remarks, I want to thank a sponsor of the video, and that's Sportsman's Guide. Uh, for everything you need to enjoy the fun, freedom, and traditions of the outdoors, you got to check out sportsmansguide.com. From hunting and fishing to camping and hiking, or just hanging around the bonfire in the backyard, you'll find it all at Sportsman's Guide. They have tree stands, blinds, rods and reels, ATV accessories, clothing, footwear, freedom seeds, and the like. The bottom line is if it happens outdoors, you will find it at Sportsman's Guide. Right now, all Walker's Game Ear Pro is on sale until April 27th, and I'm going to give you my own hack. Join the Buyers Club. I've been a member of the Buyers Club for, I don't know, five or seven years or something like that. Uh, you'll get 10% off most of the items in sport at Sportsman's Guide, and you'll get 5% off ammo every single day and free shipping at $49. And on purchases of $150 or more, you can split that into four interest-free installments, which makes it an easier and... Uh, more affordable for new gear and firearms, right? Uh, if you love the outdoors, or your friends love the outdoors, you'll love gifts from the Sportsman's Guide. Check out the link down below and use code GADGETS to save $20 off your first $100 you spend. Thanks to Sportsman's Guide, and I want to give them a shout out. They sent me some ammunition. They sent me some, uh, some hollow points for my 9. This is their American Gunner that Hornady makes, and also some super match performance ammo from Hornady. Uh, for my ARs. Uh, thank you to Sportsman's Guide. Once I get done with this crazy week and get to the range, I'll be shooting those. I appreciate you. All right, now let's go to the craziness. Prepare to be pissed off, y'all. Seriously. The jury on Monday found 52-year-old Dexter Taylor, a software engineer, guilty of second-degree criminal possession of a loaded weapon, four counts of third-degree criminal possession of a weapon, five counts of criminal possession of a firearm, second-degree criminal possession of five or more firearms, unlawful possession of pistol ammunition, violation of certificate of registration, prohibition on unfinished frames and receivers, two lesser charges including third-degree criminal possession of three or more firearms, and third-degree possession of a weapon were not voted on because they think they have enough to just jam them up anyway. Now, Taylor, like I said, is a software engineer, and he discovered the world of gunsmithing during COVID, like many people, and he decided to take it up as a hobby and possibly turn it into a business later. But when the joint ATF-NYPD task force discovered what he was doing, in their minds that he was doing this illegally, but what he was actually doing was legally buying parts from various companies, well, when they figured that out, they opened up an investigation that led to SWAT breaking down his door and arresting him. Just listen to his indictment. Bushwick man indicted for illegal possession of ghost guns. Numerous weapons, both completed and unfinished, recovered from defendant's apartment, including four assault weapons, five handguns, and four rifles. Brooklyn District Attorney Eric Gonzalez today announced the indictment of a Brooklyn man who allegedly purchased over $10,000 worth of gun parts online to build illegal untraceable firearms known as ghost guns. Numerous completed guns and gun parts were allegedly recovered 
from his apartment. District Attorney Gonzalez said, The defendant allegedly acquired a massive arsenal of homemade ghost guns that are as real and dangerous as traditional firearms. By assembling guns from kits, unfinished parts, or 3D printed components, those who possess ghost guns evade critically important background checks and registration requirements. And because they have no serial number, they are untraceable. The surge in ghost guns in our neighborhoods is a major contributor to the violence plaguing our communities. And my office is working tirelessly to stop the proliferation in Brooklyn. Well, how about putting criminals behind bars and keeping them there, you wuss? The district attorney identified the defendant as Dexter Taylor, 51 of Bushwick. He was arraigned today before Brooklyn Supreme Court Justice Phyllis Chu on a 37 count indictment in which he is charged with multiple counts of second, third, and fourth degree criminal possession of a weapon, criminal possession of a firearm, prohibition on unfinished frames or receivers, and one count of unlawful possession of pistol ammunition. His bail was continued at $50,000 and ordered to return to court on May 5th of 2022. The district attorney said that following an investigation, members of the New York City Police Department identified Taylor as having ordered numerous ghost gun kits and component parts from various online retailers that were allegedly shipped to the defendant's address on Eldritch Street in Bushwick, Brooklyn. A search warrant was executed at the defendant's apartment on April 6th of 2022, and numerous items were recovered, including four completed assault weapons, five completed handguns, four completed rifles, eight lower receivers for rifles, five lower receivers for handguns, four rifle magazines, seven pistol magazines, four upper receivers, casings, bullet primers, and gunpowder to build ammunition and various tools commonly used to build firearms. Yeah, all constitutionally frickin' protected, imagine that. The investigation was conducted by the New York City Police Department's Major Case Field Intelligence Team and detective investigators from the District Attorney's Investigations Bureau, all of which are oath breakers. The case is being prosecuted by Assistant District Attorney Michael O'Rourke, the District Attorney's Violent Criminal Enterprise Bureau under the supervision of the Assistant District Attorney Catherine Spota, VCE Deputy Bureau Chief and Assistant District Attorney Jennifer Sela, VCE First Deputy Bureau Chief under the overall supervision of Assistant District Attorney Alfred Delgenese, VCE Bureau Chief. And of course at the bottom, an indictment is an accusatory instrument and not proof of defendant's guilt. Now Toy Taylor's lawyer said, quote, he ended up building, I believe it was eight pistols and five rifles or six rifles, AR style, rif AR style rifles, and then eight or nine Glock pistols that he built, end quote. Are you ready for what this judge said? Well, here she is, Judge Abina Darka. And what Abina Darka did was she disrupted Taylor's attorney several times during opening statements in the trial, which is usually a sign. And then she had the balls to admonish the defense to refrain from mentioning the Second Amendment during the trial. Yup. Pause. Think of that. This is what the judge said. Now, according to uh, Taylor's attorney, uh, attorney Vargasy, he said that Judge Darka said, quote, do not bring the Second Amendment into this courtroom. It does not exist here. You can't argue Second Amendment. This is New York. What the fuck? Sorry for the, uh, the language, y'all, but seriously, what the fuck? Uh, is this Hawaii where the moon bats believe that the Aloha spirit somehow supersedes the Second Amendment? Now, Vargasy said, and I, I might be butchering the attorney's name, I apologize, dude, if I am, sorry. Uh, but he said that he filed the appropriate paperwork to preserve these arguments for the appeal, but the judge rejected those arguments. And then she went out of her way to limit him further. Now, the attorney also went the jury nullification route, but Judge Insano poo-pooed that as well. It's like, uh, it's like America doesn't exist in New York. It's like... We need to start hanging around in taverns again, people. We need to start conversing. Oof. As for Taylor, he sits in Rikers, on Rikers Island, awaiting sentencing. He's looking at 18 years for having the balls to exercise his constitutionally guaranteed rights given to him by the creator. 
within the confines of New York. The balls of this man. Now my hope is that all the groups who watch my stuff that I communicate with regularly, GOA, Second Amendment Foundation, well, for those who don't know, Gun Owners of America, Second Amendment Foundation, Firearms Policy Coalition, hell, uh, National Rifle Association, N National Association uh, for Gun Rights, uh, you insert anybody, they all need to be chipping in and helping this cat right now because this is a travesty. This cannot be allowed to stand. It violates everything about being an American. And for Judge Darkett, Take care. Subscribe to the channel if you want more information. I appreciate y'all. Have a good one. This is disgusting.